we must continue to be prepared in case of a dangerous variant of concern emerges. So this is our vaccine strategy going into the future. First, MOH will maintain and periodically refresh an adequate stock of COVID-19 vaccines to allow continued protection of the elderly and vulnerable as needed, and to facilitate a rapid response should there be a major or more severe pandemic wave. Second, we will maintain a network of vaccination centres, primary care clinics, polyclinics, and a baseline footprint of five to ten joint testing and vaccination centres, even during Doscon Green. With this, we will be able to administer a booster to all persons aged 50 and above and the medically vulnerable within three weeks, if necessary. Third, we are negotiating agreements to secure early access to vaccines against other pathogens with pandemic potential. This might include new influenza and other respiratory viruses. Fourth, we will invest in vaccine research and development like the PREPARE program I spoke about earlier. One of our objectives is to establish how to quickly develop a working vaccine based on either the mRNA or protein subunit platform and bring it to clinical trials locally. Fifth, through the EDB's effort, we will be, anchor we will be anchoring six vaccine manufacturing plants in Singapore. So in response to Dr. Tan Wu Ming, EDB will continue to engage other vaccine manufacturers to invest in Singapore, grow our biomedical sector capabilities, and cement our position as a pharmaceutical hub of Asia. And finally, we will continue to do our part to strengthen global health security and support fair and equitable access to vaccines. There is now a global effort to develop a safe, effective vaccines within 100 days of a public health emergency of international concern being declared. And MOH, we are actively contributing to that effort. 